Welcome back to Primetime News. One of the murder trials against a dance hall entertainer Vibes Cartel appears to be on the verge of collapse this evening. Cartel, his co-accused Lynn Burr MacDonald and Nigel Thompson were thrown a lifeline this afternoon when Justice Brian Sykes refused to admit statements of key prosecution witnesses who have gone into hiding. Government prosecutors have been left to decide tomorrow whether they will continue with the trial. Rowan Powell is covering the story. The prosecutors had applied to the judge to accept the statement under Section 31 of the Evidence Act. They argued that both witnesses cannot be located. But they failed to convince the judge that all the necessary steps were taken to find the witnesses. This ruling means that the case is on the verge of collapse. Justice Sykes' declaration was met with a smile from Cartel. who was dressed in a dark two-piece suit. But Vice Cartel was not the only one relieved by the ruling. His co-accused Thompson showed jubilation too by shouting, Yes, Jaja, as he was being led away. It's now likely that the prosecutors will throw in the towel when the jurors are called back tomorrow. When word came of Justice Sachs' decision not to admit the witness statements, a small crowd of Cartel erupted in cheers. The chairs also spread to the holding area where a number of prisoners were awaiting their return to jail. The cartel supporters were waiting to get a glimpse of the self-acclaimed world boss. As they waited, one supporter was listening to a string of cartel hits. Though barely visible, the crowd broke into another round of chairs as their handcuffed Gaza boss was led to the prison truck. Cartel, whose given name is Adija Palmer, Lenberg MacDonald and Nigel Thompson, are being tried for the July 2011 shooting death of Barrington Bossy Burton. Prosecutors alleged that the entertainer ordered the killing of Burton, who was a member of his Gaza crew. However, if a not guilty verdict is returned tomorrow, Cartel will remain behind bars until his trial on a second of murder charge is heard in November. He's accused of the killing of Clive Lizard Williams in that matter. Investigators have submitted video evidence of Williams being killed at a house in Havendale, St. Andrew. However, his stablemate, Gaza Slim, remains hopeful. Everything I take step by step, so them just go not one by one. So everything I come off, so that when I forgot to pray night and day, so how, I forgot. How confident are you that he will be exonerated? 100%. In God, I put my trust not mankind, not womankind, no kind, but God. So I must have to come out. Rohan Powell, TVJ News.